In today's video, we'll be doing a review and comparison between Jarvis AI and Word Hero AI. Now, I've done a couple of reviews between Jarvis AI and other AI copywriters, and usually Jarvis comes out on top. But I think I found a worthy opponent that might give Jarvis AI a run for its money. So we're going to go ahead and look at both of these AI copywriters and look at things such as the pricing, the quality of output, the features and templates that are included, the ease of use and overall feel of the AI copywriter. And we'll also be taking a look at the team and the company and the future plans for both Jarvis AI and Word Hero AI. So give us a big thumbs up if you're ready for this comparison and subscribe for more videos on blogging and AI copywriters. Now, if you're not familiar with these tools, both of these tools are AI copywriters. So essentially, you're able to write both short and long form copy using AI technology. So essentially, you have a variety of templates in both of these tools in which you can choose from to write short and long form copy, just dependent on your situation or the scenario in which you're writing for. So if you're writing an Amazon product description, then obviously you'd use that template. If you're writing a cover letter, if you're writing Facebook ads, then you would use um, those specific templates. And if you're writing long form copy, such as a blog post or an article or an ebook, then you would use the long form assistant in Jarvis. And on Word Hero, you'd use the long form editor. Now, before we get into the features and the templates and actually start to create some content, Let's take a look at the pricing. So pricing is obviously very important and it's usually the first deciding factor when someone's choosing between an AI copywriter. Now, the pricing is very different on Word Hero compared to Jarvis. If we head over to Jarvis, we can see that first off, there is no unlimited plan on Jarvis. So what that means is, is that every word or every sentence that you generate, you have to pay for it. Now, the good thing is you have different set packages. So for instance, on the starter package, which is $29 per month, you have access to 20,000 words. So that means whenever you're generating content using a template, you only have a limit of 20,000 words for that month. If you go over, then you'll be charged by Jarvis. And on the other hand, as you can see, Word Hero has a very simple and straightforward pricing. So if you were to pay per month, it would be $49 per month but this includes unlimited copy. So there's no limit and you wouldn't have to worry about generating too many words and then having to pay for that. It's totally unlimited copy. So that's a big plus and a big advantage of using Word Hero um, because if you're writing a lot of content, it can add up on Jarvis. And as you can see, there's two different plans on Jarvis. So we have the starter plan and then we have the boss mode plan. Now the starter plan is for short form copy such as Facebook ads, Google ads, product descriptions, and so on. And the boss mode plan includes the blog post creator and the long form document. So what that means is that on the boss mode plan, you're able to create long form content by using the long form assistant. So if you're creating blog posts or any other long form content, then you would have to get the boss mode plan. And again, this starts at $59 per month for 50,000 words. And as you can see, as we increase in words, um, the price also increase. So for $99 per month, we would get 100,000 words um, to be able to generate for that month. And if we go on again, we can see the price increases. So right off the bat, uh, Word Hero's pricing is a lot more attractive uh, when compared to Jarvis. This price can increase, but for now, Word Hero is definitely a better option in terms of pricing. Word Hero also has a really good deal going on on AppSumo at the time of this recording. It's right now $69 for a lifetime plan. Now for that lifetime plan, you will have access to all of the templates on Word Hero AI, except the editor. So you wouldn't be able to create any long form content for that $69, but you do get unlimited usage per month. But if you wanted to add on the long form editor, I believe it would be $59. So $60 on top of the $69, you'll have a lifetime deal with unlimited access to Word Hero AI. So that's a really good deal. If it is available, I'll leave a link in the description below. While pricing is definitely important, it shouldn't be the only reason or the only factor that you choose one AI copywriter over the other. Let's go ahead and take a look at the quality of the output that we get using Jarvis compared to Word Hero AI. So let's go ahead and use the long form assistant and we're going to create a blog post workflow. 
And the blog post workflow is really good. It pretty much just guides you through the blog creation process when you're starting to create a blog. So in the first section, we're going to describe the content that we want to create. So we'll be writing an article about what is the best cryptocurrency to invest in in 2022. And then I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to generate a title. Okay. And then I'm going to generate an intro paragraph using Jarvis. Okay. So I'm going to read through these and see whichever one I like the best. If I want to get more content, I just click generate more ideas. So once you find a intro paragraph that you like the best, just click um, use this one. And then we're going to open the editor. And then this is where you'll be able to continue to create your blog post in Jarvis. Now let's head back over to Word Hero AI. And as you can see, the long form editor is a little different. We don't really have that blog post workflow, but we are still able to create our blog post. So let's go ahead. We're going to paste the title in which we're writing about, which is what is the best cryptocurrency to invest in in 2022. So before we create the intro paragraph, let's go ahead and create an outline for this blog post. So this is the outline that I got from Word Hero. First introduction is what is cryptocurrency. Second talks about how to how do you actually invest in a cryptocurrency. The third paragraph talks about what is the best cryptocurrency to invest in in 2022. And then we have a conclusion here. So now that we have an outline done, I'm going to go ahead and generate our intro paragraph. In order to generate our intro paragraph, I'm going to go ahead and copy the heading and then I'm going to head over to one of our tools, which is the blog intro. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the title into the blog intro section. And what this is going to do is this is going to give me um, some content based upon the topic that I'm writing about. So as you can see, we get three different variations for content for what is cryptocurrency. I'm just going to read through this and see whichever one is the most relevant and whichever one you like the best, just go ahead, click it, and then you can paste it in to your blog post. So let's head back over to Jarvis and let's go ahead and create an outline. So in order to create an outline, I'm going to head over to the power mode and then I'm going to go to blog post outline. Again, these are different templates that are included in Jarvis AI. So I'm going to paste my blog post title or topic and then I'm going to go ahead and click generate AI content. So as you can see, we get a couple of different outlines here. Again, if you want more, just go ahead and click generate AI content and you'll get more outputs from the AI. Okay, so as we can see, we get some pretty decent content here for the outline. So I'm just going to go ahead, copy that. I'm going to paste it in here. And we have a nice little outline for the blog post in which we're creating. So if we go ahead and we compare the intro paragraph and the outline that we got from Jarvis and from Word Hero, I would say that they're pretty comparable. I didn't really see any content that really distinguished um, one from the other. I do like the outline a little better uh, from Jarvis, specifically just this topic here, but, but I do think for the most part, we got a pretty similar outline and a pretty high quality intro from both AI content writers. So let's go ahead and try to get some content for one of the body paragraphs, which is how to invest in cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to paste it over into Word Hero just to make sure that we're comparing apples to apples. So let's go ahead and see what sort of content we get from Word Hero. So I'm going to copy again this title. I'm going to head back over. I'm going to head back over to the blog intros template and I'm going to paste the topic in which we're writing about. So how to invest in cryptocurrencies. OK, so I've went through the content that we got and I think this is probably the best paragraph here. It sort of introduces what cryptocurrencies are and why it's difficult for as a beginner for you to invest. Um, and it finishes the sentence by saying below are some helpful tips on how to get started with invested in cryptocurrency. So what I'm going to do is if you want to get more content, because it does seem like the AI stopped writing here, I'm going to go ahead and leave our cursor and then I'm going to click the write more feature. Now what this should do, this should um, allow the AI to continue writing about this point. Okay, so pretty good. We're getting some helpful tips here. So it talks about uh, comparing cryptocurrency exchanges. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to leave my cursor and I'm going to hit the write more button as well. Again, we just get some more content around choosing a cryptocurrency exchange. Let's go ahead again and click the write more feature. Okay, so as we can see, we get some content about um, how you should learn about cryptocurrency before investing. And I think this is good content. 
I would probably just put this maybe above this point right here. But again, let's just continue. Uh, we're going to click write more and we're just going to let the AI do its thing. I'm not going to really try to divert it or really try to influence the AI to give us content that we want. I just want to see in its raw format which AI content writer will give us better output. Okay, so as we can see, just using the AI content writer, we were able to get three pretty decent um, outputs. So one talked about comparing cryptocurrency exchanges, one talks about learning about cryptocurrency, and the other talks about just studying the blockchain, which is sort of similar. But as you can see, it's not bad output. I do think because we just sort of hit write more and let the AI um, sort of write its raw data, it's not the best, but we can definitely use this within our blog post. So again, this is the content that we got from Word Hero. Let's go ahead and head over to Jarvis and do the same method and see what sort of content we get. So let's go ahead and see what sort of content we get from Jarvis. Okay, so how to invest in cryptocurrencies. This is the content that we got from Jarvis AI. So first it talks about opening a cryptocurrency exchange, which is what we um, also saw on Word Hero. But then it also talks about mining cryptocurrencies. And then it talks about investing in cryptocurrency related companies. So I think that's really good content as well. And lastly, it talks about doing its research. And then it just sort of wraps up the paragraph here by going into our picks for the best um, cryptocurrency. So I think this is a really, really good paragraph from Jarvis. I would definitely say that it's better than the content that we got from Word Hero. And I do like how it sort of wrapped up the paragraph in a very relevant way and flowed really well into our top picks for cryptocurrencies to invest in. So let's go ahead and let's try to get some content for one of these subtopics. So I'm going to go and choose Ripple and let's go ahead and see what sort of content we can get from Word Hero AI and also from Jarvis. Okay, so let's go ahead and describe the content around Ripple and let's see what sort of paragraph we will get from the AI. Okay, so as we can see, we get some pretty good content here from um, Word Hero AI. So I can see us using any one of these paragraphs or combining all of them to write about Ripple within this blog post. So pretty good content here from Word Hero AI. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna do the same thing. So I've described the content just as we did in Word Hero and I'm going to go ahead and click Compose. Okay, so this is the content that we got um, for Ripple. So it talks about the cryptocurrency as well. Um, it talks about the market cap of this cryptocurrency and it talks about the potential upsides for Ripple as a cryptocurrency. So I would say in terms of quality um, between Jarvis and Word Hero for this specific output, I don't think there's much that really separates them. I would say from both sides, we got pretty good content. So that was a little preview of the long form editor and the long form assistant from Jarvis and Word Hero. But if you're writing short form copy, you have access to a lot of different templates on Word Hero AI and on Jarvis AI. Let's go ahead and do one quick example of one of the short form templates, which is the product description. So I'm going to describe my product name and I'm going to describe what my product does in this description. And let's go ahead and see what content we get from Word Hero and from Jarvis. Okay, so welcome to the future. The screwless TV mount is a revolutionary product that will change your life. Using the power of your hands, you can effortlessly mount your TV. Okay, pretty good content. Um, this is really, really good, really engaging um, and really fun content here from Word Hero. Now let's see what we get from Jarvis. Looking for a sleek and modern way to mount your TV without any screws, look no further. So this innovative mount attaches to your wall using powerful magnets so you can easily hang and remove your TV whenever you want. So really good content as well from Jarvis. So I would say again, both of these AIs gave us really good content based upon the input that we gave them. So to summarize the comparison between Word Hero and Jarvis AI, if we're discussing pricing, then definitely Word Hero is the better option. So for $49 per month for unlimited copy and all of the features and templates that you have access to, I do think that Word Hero is definitely worth it and very reasonably priced. It's very difficult to find a high quality AI content writer that still provides an unlimited plan, but also for a price of $49 per month. So if you're price sensitive and you're looking for a high quality AI copywriter, then Word Hero would be the better option. Now, if you're a bigger company or you have the budget, 
then I would recommend Jarvis AI because I do find the quality of content that you get from Jarvis is a lot better. Now, in terms of templates, it's pretty comparable between Jarvis and Word Hero. And that's because you'll probably be only using about five different templates and all of the most popular templates are included in Jarvis and Word Hero. For ease of use, both of these AI copywriters are very easy to use. I don't think that there's a big learning curve in any of these AI copywriters and any beginner can start and go ahead and start creating some pretty high quality content um, using the long form editors in both Word Hero AI and in Jarvis AI. But I do like that Jarvis has a button right at the bottom here in which you can click. Um, if you're lost, you can just click that button and content will be generated instead of having to navigate these templates on Word Hero AI. So I would give a little bit of a slight advantage to Jarvis in that regards. But for the most part, when you have some practice with these AI copywriters, you'll be able to churn out some really high quality content pretty quickly. Now for quality of output, I find that every AI is a little different, right? So depending on the topic that you're writing about, one AI may give you really good content while the other may not. Now, I don't think that you should generalize the quality of an AI copywriter based on a couple outputs that you got from them. But just from using Word Hero AI and Jarvis AI, I would have to say that Jarvis AI definitely has better quality of content. And I think that's because the AI is a little bit older and there's a big company behind Jarvis and they really do strive to improve the quality of the AI content. Now, Word Hero AI is a newer AI copywriting software and they're a little bit of a smaller team. So sometimes the AI quality isn't the best, but for the most part, I'm very impressed by the quality of content that you're still able to get. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you're able to find the right copywriting tool for you and your business. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos in the near future. Until the next video, stay well.